Hey everybody, this is just an informal video. Um, I was able to find it. Uh, booting Android 1.6 on a notebook. As you can see, the Dell Latitude E6500 standard notebook. And I basically burned the, uh, the ISO onto a CD, so it's a live CD. So let's see what's going on here. Okay, computer's on. I'm going to hit F12. And I'm going to boot into CD mode. Da, 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 da. Okay, you can see option live CD you can or install onto a hard disk. I don't want to blow away my installation, I just want to check it out, so I'm going to run without the installation. Basically, run as a live CD. Okay, loading kernel, blah blah blah. This typical Linux boot. Since we're running off a CD, it's going to take a little while. There we go. They said I've only booted this one other time, so this is just a quick flyby just to let people see that it is possible to do this. There we go. Look at the Android. And there you have it. See the screen, time, and you have some icons. And over here, slides out all your icons. And uh, I tried to fi connect it to the internet and it didn't work. So apparently, this is a very early build, but it is version 1.6. So I'm going to go into settings and like I said I tried the wireless control it didn't work but you can connect see it looks just like uh, and then you have to use instead of a touch screen since this is a laptop it doesn't have touch you have to use the keyboard and mouse to navigate so I'm gonna go to the about phone And as you can see, the firmware is 1.6, model number is EPC, and the build number. And you can see the kernel version down at the bottom. So um, looks like very, it looks very good. I've seen some people say they can tether it to uh, another phone to get the internet, but it looks, looks good. It's actually a very early build. Uh, escape, escape brings us back to, and. So, like I said, if I wanted to do something, there's not much. I mean, the camera obviously will not work. Browser won't work. Camcorder will not work. Dialer obviously will not work. So, I don't know. It's just something to play with. So, if you want to shut down, basically, you just push the power button. And then, it's going to ask you if you want to power off or reboot, just like you would a phone. So, power off. You and it's shutting down. That's it. This is a nice little four-minute video. Hope you enjoyed uh, watching. Thanks a lot.